Hi folks, David Waring here again with informtrades.com and today's lesson of the day. In today's lesson, we're going to continue our module on how to set alerts in the Pro Real Time Charting Package with a look at how to set price alerts with multiple conditions on multiple time frames. So let's get started. Okay, so if you haven't done so already, you're going to want to go ahead and hit the pause button and then click the link above this video where you can register for free access to the entire Pro Real Time package uh, with end of day data for as long as you would like so you can follow along with the lessons here as well. Uh, what I have here is a uh, daily chart, a four hour chart, and a one hour chart of the euro yen and for this lesson I want to look at a and setting up an alert which has multiple conditions so let's say I'm doing my multi time frame analysis on my chart and I see that I have a triangle here that I want to trade the breakout below of that we've uh, just had happen today and then on the four hour chart let's say that one of my conditions is that there can't be a uh, MACD divergence, which if you notice on this chart here, which is the four hour chart, the MACD is not confirming the lower low here, so that's a MACD divergence there. Okay, so that would negate the trade until that uh, MACD divergence righted itself. Okay, and then let's say that if I do decide to take the trade once the MACD divergence writes itself. I still want the market to be below this little level of support or sorry resistance here at uh, 118.52 on the hourly chart that I've spotted through my multi time frame analysis. Okay, so <clears throat> excuse me. Here's how I'd set that up. Um, first thing I'm going to do, as always, is I'm going to click the alert button, and then I'm going to click in the first chart that I want to set the price uh, alert condition for which is that I want the market to be trading below this bottom line of the triangle. So I click on that and you can see as we've done in previous videos I'm going to say price is less than selected line in the current period real time. Okay, And then instead of clicking create alert there I'm going to click add condition and it says click on the specific section of the window where I want to add a condition to and for this one I'm gonna maximize my four hour chart and I'm gonna click in the Mac D part of the window which is gonna bring up condition uh, the settings for condition 2 so if you see here if I run my mouse over the Mac D it's gonna give me uh, in the window that comes up the um, level of the low of the Mac D line here which is at negative 1.77. So this uh, would have to over here, which we're currently at, uh, let's see here, uh, 1.0623, negative 1.06, now 31, would have to come down to uh, negative 1.77, we'll say, or lower in order for there not to be a MACD divergence anymore. Okay? So <clears throat> I'm going to say here, MACD, the MACD line, is less than or equal to, and then the value here is going to be negative 1.77. Okay, so the second condition, the first condition is that the price has to be below the triangle on the daily chart. The second condition is that the MACD on the four hour chart has to be equal to or below negative 1.77 to write that uh, MACD divergence. Okay, and then I'm going to add a third condition. Okay, minimize this four hour chart and then maximize my hourly chart, which is that this line here at 118.52, click on that, price, okay, needs to be less than this line on the hourly chart. Okay, make that one 1852. Okay, and so now I have a three condition alert that the, <coughs> excuse me, the market has to be below, just minimize this, has to be below the triangle on my daily chart. The 
MACD divergence on the four hour chart has to write itself so that there's no longer a divergence there. And then the market still has to be below the resistance line that I've located on the hourly chart at 118.52. Okay. And I'm going to hit create alert there. And you can see that the alert has shown up in the window of each of the chart charts and that all three of those conditions have to be met before any signal alert is given. Okay. So that's our lesson for today. And that wraps up my series on alerts in pro real time charts. If you have any questions about setting up alerts of, of your own, please feel free to ask them. And I'm hoping that uh, as we go along here, we can share um, some of the different uh, conditions and things that we're watching in the market. Okay. Uh, as always, if there's any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And good luck with your trading.